Hi there, today I'm going to be showing you a selection of cool stands that can be used on a gimbal. So a gimbal is a device that provides three axis stabilization for a camera. So this is my gimbal and I use it for another channel we have called Geek Street Travels. And the purpose of the gimbal is to provide very smooth stability when you're recording video footage. So as you can see there, it just maintains the stability. And if you look at the recordings, they're absolutely amazing. So it's not limited to just GoPros. You can use other larger cameras as well. So let's go ahead and show the actual stands I've got. So initially we've got a smaller one here. Build quality is quite good. Strong, very rigid plastic on there. And obviously the bolt in the middle to actually hold it. Now, in terms of size, this is the smaller one and it comes in at, if I can show it just close enough, eight and a half centimeters and the diameter is about three centimeters. And build quality is very good and it can attach straight onto the back of the gimbal. So if I just screw it straight on and can be kept in one position like so, you can even hold on to some of it as you're filming. And if you get to a point, you wanna just set it down and continue filming. With the added knowledge, it's not gonna to topple over or anything. This is pretty cool. And just to show, it doesn't easily topple over. It's a nice compact one and perfect for the size of gimbal I have. So I don't have the larger one that holds the bigger cameras. So if we take that one off, so you can actually have it like this, but sometimes you do risk a little bit of the stability on that. It could easily fall down. Okay, so the next one to show is this one. It's made of pure steel, very strong build of it. Each leg spans around 11 and a half centimeters. When you actually have it closed, you've got it about 12 and a half and the diameter on this one is three and a half. So for the larger cameras and larger gimbals, I'd say for this one, still provides good stability when you sit it down, even with this size of product. So let me show you that. Very rigid, really is. So I'd say this is for more of the heavy duty ones. Okay, so the next one, is this, it's the gimbal monopod. It comes in a box and even has a carry case on there. It's a much larger product. If I carefully take that out. Okay. Strap comes with it as well to assist in using it. Now, this is a much larger one and just to show it extends out. So if I loosen that, Just keeps going. And there you go. And now the legs on this, they lock into position and to close them again, you've got to press this button and it closes. It's actually got a soft pad here to hold onto to grip it. So you can use this singular just to stand up, obviously as a stand. And I've obviously extended it too much at the moment. Let's let it collapse down. Okay, the actual fixture on the end comes in two sizes. So if I loosen this now, just to show, you can take it out and you can use the smaller connector on there. So in terms of sizing, it's got a quarter inch and three eighth of an inch thread on there. Now in terms of height, this one, the max height is 51 inches or 130 centimeters. So pretty long in, and it can be used obviously standalone like this, or if you collapse these, you can actually stretch it out and use it to do the actual low shots or extended shots if you wanted to. Now to assist with that, obviously if you had a larger gimbal, there'd be a, a lot more weight on this. So you've got the clip here, if I show, there's a little hook on there. And if I take the hook 
and I just clip it onto here. Okay, and that's clipped on. So if you extend it out, okay, that's all the way out. I keep going. You can actually just attach the other end onto this just to give you that additional amount of support when you're holding this. There you go, pretty cool. And let me show it with the actual camera attached on there. So if I take the actual fixture, this actually goes this way round, tighten it up again. There you go, that's secure. Let's take the legs out. Okay, and I'll take this stand off. Okay, and we can attach the gimbal straight onto there by just twisting it on. Okay, and then if we lock it all into position, actually take it and just to show, let me make sure it's all properly locked. And there you go. Just keeps that additional stability and you can take it into lower areas or even raise it even higher if you wanted. There you go. Okay, just to show the monopod completely extended out, just to show the sheer length of it. It's enormous, just to show. So you've got a good reach on that. Okay, and again, with it in hand, there is quite a bit of weight, obviously, if you have it extended out like so. But again, it can provide a lot of leverage when you're taking shots. So you can get low down shots if you wanted to, and you could go quite high holding this as well. So quite useful in that way, and obviously gives that additional flexibility. So there you go a selection of some cool gimbal stands. Details are in the description below for anyone thinking of purchasing. Thanks for viewing and don't forget to like and subscribe.